So there's really a lot of things that we're doing that drives acceptance of SaaS, and, and this show being one of them, right? So there's good progress that I think that we're making in this regard. Um, we have communications clearly from a lot of the original equipment manufacturers of aircrafts that they're, they're safe to use. Um, it's part of the um, conventional jet fuel spec. So every SAF that we sell is certified to the same standard as regular aviation fuel. Um, and that really drives acceptance and that will continue to pick up as that industry progresses. Um, and, and sort of towards your, your second half of the questions, how do you make sure that the decision makers at that level have the, the opportunity to make that decision to go for, for a SAF brand as well? You know, that's, that's really something that the industry still needs to develop, right? There's, there's a lot of things that I think we can do in order to partner with those customers and, and give them more insights into this. And that will build up more and more once SAF becomes more and more, more available, right? So currently today, I think part of what you're uh, referring to is because you don't know exactly, okay, I'm, I'm flying to that airport, is there SAF available? It might not be, right? Because the, the avail availability is still, uh, it's, it's challenging to do to have it at every airport. So once that network of SAF availability gets built up more, that will also drive that uh, demand for it, right? It, it will drive the acceptance if you see it at more and more sites. So again, we, we're using the same spec, the same jet fuel spec, and, and civil aircraft should have no issues in, in, in using that. But again, the manufacturers are actively encouraging the use of it. Um, we're building out our network of locations where we have SAP availability so that you can see it at more and more locations and you can really start to see that it's, it's, it's part of, it's a natural part of the aviation industry. And we're doing a lot of advocacy um, and, and talking to our customers itself to say, okay, this is what we think, why this is important. And this is why we think there's a good place for SAP in the aviation industry. So that's a bundle of things that we do drives uh, that change and hopefully also on, on the operational level. But we're having a lot of great discussions with our customers and with our stakeholders in order to uh, increase the ambition for SAF, increase the acceptance. Yeah, so we, we have a lot of discussions on, on trade shows like this with the, the actual pilots. Um, and we're also using some of our marketing materials. For example, we have a newsletter that we send out to all of our customers that features prominent stories, not only on SAP, but also on SAP and, and also other important topics. So that's being brought up as a very important topic as part of our uh, general offering to customers. So personally, I, I think we've seen a lot more acceptance and a lot more demand for, for SAP. Right? So from what we've seen, um, I would say the demand is higher than, than the current available supply. Right. But yes, on sort of a, if you look at everyone that's involved with it, it will get, my prognosis is it will get more and more accepted uh, as time goes on.